How not to lose your luggage is identification, identification, identification. My name is Brenda Cantrell and I am the brand ambassador here at Unclaimed Baggage Center in Scottsboro, Alabama. What is the Unclaimed Baggage Center? Unclaimed Baggage Center is the only store in America that buys and resells unclaimed baggage from the airline industry. We stock thousands of unique items daily and sell it all at a discount. The airlines declare a bag ultimately lost or unclaimed after 90 days. So don't think that the airlines sell bags to make a profit. That's certainly not the case. Uh, because at the end of the day, they want a happy customer, just like any business does. What is the most lost item? I would say the most lost item is probably electronics that are left in back seat pockets and overhead compartments. I'd say we get thousands and thousands and thousands of headphones every single year, and we donate a lot of them. Have you ever found any government property? We actually found an underwater camera that was used for training for the space shuttle. Uh, there was, I think, like a plaque that was on it that said, this camera is worth its weight in gold. Please return to the U.S. government. So we did. Do certain airlines have reputations for better unclaimed baggage than others? Hmm. <laughs> That's why I really want to answer this. Just like people that are different, uh, airlines many times have different uh, types of passengers. Some are more economically based travelers, some are more business traveler based. Um, and so obviously those bags are a reflection of the type of clientele that are on those airlines. So there's some uh, vendors that we buy from, not just airlines, that have different reputations from others. Um, some aren't as exciting to work on uh, than others. What are the strangest items you've ever found? There's everything from things that celebrities owned to restaurant signs, um, lots of crazy things there, but we've also had three full suits of armor. We have lots of taxidermied items when people travel, you know, out in the Midwest or up in Canada, and they kill an animal and they have it mounted there and shipped back. Have you ever found anything illegal? People travel with all kinds of things. Sometimes that includes illegal drugs, illegal firearms, and we are very good at locating those items however they're packed in the suitcase. Sometimes it's very obvious, sometimes it's not. Um, but we have a very tight protocol on how we handle those items, and then we work with our local agencies to come and pick those up to destroy them properly. Everything gets destroyed. <laughs> What's in the Lost Luggage Hall of Fame? We have a lot of really cool things that we display here in our store. Uh, we actually have one of the Jim Henson puppets from the movie Labyrinth, uh, the character Hoggle. And the story that was shared with me is that it was in this big wooden crate and it was kind of after hours. It was a dark, dingy warehouse and they're opening up this crate to see, you know, what's today's surprise and there's this face looking back at them and it just really shocked them and, and took them off guard. So. We never know what we're going to get. Attention treasure hunters, would you like to open an unclaimed suitcase in our unclaimed baggage experience? What is the unclaimed baggage experience? The unclaimed baggage experience is something that we started about six or seven years ago where every afternoon at 2.30 we invite a guest to open an unprocessed suitcase. Now we've made sure there's nothing harmful, dangerous or embarrassing in that suitcase but it allows the guests to go through uh, a very unique, you know, few minutes of their afternoon to see what these items were in someone else's bag. What's better, the unclaimed baggage experience or the Jimi Hendrix experience? They're both euphoric, they're both fun, they can both um, provide an element of surprise that you don't know what's going to happen next. So, I think we can hold a candle to the Jimi Hendrix experience here. I get to keep it? Yes, ma'am. Why do you think people are so interested in other people's stuff? I mean, we live in a world of social media where you want to know what's going on in everybody else's lives. To know what was in somebody's suitcase is just another element of that. It's really a slice of life of what's going on in our culture, whether it's fashion trends or electronic trends. Um, 
But even things that are sentimental, you know, uh, have a historical value that come into our facility, you can really see the picture of, of what's going on uh, in the lives of, of people that are traveling all across the nation, all across the globe.